YouTube and welcome to another exciting day of Jixer Grills Moto Vlogging. Yeah, yeah. Today we're going to go get some fresh juice from a place called Nature's Grill, which is in Ventura, California. It has a lot of amazing organic choices, vegetarian, but also the meat. They have great salads, great burritos, they have tacos, 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 who doesn't like tacos, they have chicken tacos, they have fish tacos, they have queso in the chicken tacos, the queso on top of the cheese and the cheese and the queso and the queso and the cheese, hello, let's share, shall we, now, it doesn't say anywhere on my dashboard, what the temperature is outside of the engine. The engine says 193 degrees right now, which isn't too bad. Usually at a, after a little bit of riding, it'll range up to about 210 to 218 degrees. And that's fine. That's not overheating. It's not the best temperature. This is a good temperature we're at right now. The outside temperature right now is about 98 degrees and I am wearing a leather jacket so I am feeling it having to stay out here in the sun like this. I wish I could have chilled underneath the uh, shadows of the bridge back there but that wouldn't be the right thing to do. I can feel the sweat accumulating. It's summertime and I have no summer gear. <sighs> America. I get to split some traffic, y'all. Now, if you live here in California, you know what this is like. This is the ultimate freedom when you're riding a motorbike. Damn, this girl got rhyme. The safest thing to do is to not lane split in these two lanes, but two lane split in the furthest lane over to the left. A lot of people don't look for motorcycles on this side. But I'll bow my head to them whenever they do. See me? Wow, that's nice. Thank you for seeing me. Now you want to check behind you for other bikes that are splitting lanes because I had a Harley Davidson run into me once and pushed me forward. He went down and I just kept my ass going. I did not stop. I was like, your Harley ass can wait there for going so fast during a lane split. Now I've talked to the CHP and they say legally, they recommend, whatever that means, that you only do about five miles an hour over the what the speed of traffic is doing. I don't really like, oh man, I'm sorry about that. He looked okay. It looked like he was handling. Oh my god, here we go. I just don't like wasting my gas doing that. It's worth it to say, hey, I'm right here. Kindly step aside. By now you would think that there'd be less motorcycle accidents happening, but there's still a lot of people that like to change lanes because they think that this lane is moving faster than this lane. They, they don't. They move the same exact speed when traffic is like this. I always get nervous when I see random blinkers. I'm like, why do you need to come over here? You're doing just fine over there. Ain't nothing happening over here. You stay right where you are. These make me nervous. You but you gotta push through. You can't just be a sitting duck. You have to make impulse decisions sometimes and take the risk because your impulses and your reflexes are going to be a lot faster than someone who's in a big truck or in a, in a big car. But here in California, people don't really like to ask permission with their blinkers. They like to just put their blinkers on the moment they change lanes. And that's when accidents happen. They don't leave their blinker on for seconds. They just blink and go. Every once in a while, you're gonna wanna check your left mirror and make sure no, but no motorcycle is behind you that wants to go faster than you. So when that, did, when that does happen, don't get intimidated. Just 
pull over like this on the far left side of the ride, on the far left side of the lane, let them pass. Check for more bikes because sometimes they have friends. And 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 then keep sweating lights. What's cool about my leather jacket is that it's keeping all of my sweat in on my body. So with the air vents unzipped, the wind is able to penetrate my jacket and hit my sweat and help keep me cool. So my sweat gets to actually do its job instead of if I were wearing no gear, it would just be evaporating and my sweat wouldn't be helping me at all. This is why I don't mind still wear, wearing leather during the summer. It's very hot, but it's not as hot as you may think. It's not as hot as if you weren't wearing any leather at all. So you might as well just wear your leathers during the summer because the good outweighs the bad. Tesla. Left Coast wants to get a Tesla. She's like, they make cheap ones now. How much is it? It's only $33,000. $33,000! Why do you want a Tesla? Yeah, they have free charging stations in most malls now. And it doesn't look like there's anywhere to put in money, so I, I guess it's free. I know, th I know that if you have a full electric vehicle, you have to pay a no gas tax. I think it's like 18 or $25 a month, which is still a lot cheaper than having to buy a full tank of gas, so. You're gonna go this way. Oh, potholes. That was sloppy. Oh, it's, it's much cooler over here than being on the freeway. is a huge ass mother effing tree. So this is sort of the main street of Ventura and you now have to pay for parking. But if you go on Santa Clara Street, there's actually a public parking garage and it's free. Oh, I don't like parking just anywhere. I'm very picky about my parking, so I'm just gonna park here. The pros of having a bike. So after you've found a parking spot in the parking garage so that you don't have to pay for parking, there's actually a back door to the nature's grill right where those ladies are going into um, so that you don't have to walk all the way around to the East Main Street. You can just go right through that door in that white building.